Ready? Today I'm going to inform you on how to live gluten-free life. Some people live gluten-free because they want to lose weight, and some people do it because they have a celiac disease. The celiac disease is a condition where if you eat gluten, you can ruin your small intestine, and you cannot absorb nutrients from the food very well. One in every 100 Americans have it, and 90% of the people don't even know that they have the disease. Today I'm going to inform you what gluten is, what types of food gluten is in, and what foods you can eat without that don't have gluten in them, and some complications that occur if you have the disease and you don't take the precautions that you need to. From the analysis poll, I discovered that most people don't even know what gluten is, so I'm going to tell you what it's in. It's a protein consisting of a mixture of glutamine and gladian, and it's a substance remaining when the flour of wheat or other grains is washed to remove the starch, and it's also used in baking. And it's usually a yellowish gray powder, and when you bake it, it becomes a, like a chewy texture, and that's what it looks like. And it's also used in bread, and so there's a picture with gluten spilled out with bread. And then it's in rye, wheat, bread, and grains, and cereals. Some foods that have gluten in them is bagels, bread, bread rolls, batter, bread pumped ham, and a lot of lunch meats I use in your lunches have gluten in them, so people that do have disease can't eat that. And it's in scones, pretzels, pancakes, sauces, pastries, and pies. And some stuff that don't have gluten in them is, is fruits, vegetables, meat and poultry, just like chicken, and then fish and seafood, dairy products, and beans and nuts don't. So you really have to like serve or not serve this. Like surround your dairy or your diet with those kind of foods. You can't eat anything else because it'll mess your small intestine up. Some complications that can occur if you do have a disease and you don't take the regulations and you keep eating gluten is you can get inflammation, malnutrition, infertility, and cancer. A nutritionist, Isabella de los Rios, says that gluten has the potential to cause internal inflammation inside your body and it's linked to increased relief, or it's linked to increase of diabetes and chronic pain. The next is malnutrition. And it can lead to anemia and weight loss, but in children it can lead to stomach growth and delayed development. It also can make infertility, which is a mal malabsorption of calcium and vitamin D, and can contribute to reproductive issues. The last complication is cancer, which is the most common. And it's a greater risk of developing several forms of cancer, and one is intestinal lymphoma cancer which is occurs in the lymph nodes, which are small organs found throughout the body. Today I told you about what gluten is, what types of food that you can and cannot eat when you have the disease, and what complications can occur. I chose this topic because my friend was diagnosed with this disease last summer, and it drastically changed the way that she has to eat. Like She has so many things that she can't eat, and I really didn't even know about this disease until she had it, so I would like to inform you all about it. Thank you.